All right, guys, I am popping in today to show you a brand new yarn from Lion Brand. This is Woolies Recycled. This is part of their sustainable stitching line, and it is also part of the Woolies line. So if you don't know what their sustainable stitching line is, it is a line of yarns that, that um, Lion Brand has been developing that is renewable and sustainable. It's recycled yarns. It's natural fibers. There's a whole bunch of great yarns in there. I've worked with quite a few of them. Woolies is now part of that. Um, I did just finish a pattern using respun. Re respun. I want to call it respun, but it's respun. It is a 100% recycled polyester. This is a worsted weight yarn. This is a great yarn. Um, I also did a pattern using their respun thick and quick. Again, this is also a 100% recycled polyester. Um, these are great yarns. I'm really enjoying working with them. There's a few other yarns that you're probably familiar with that are part of the sustainable stitching line, like, let's see, True Boo, um, Respect is part of that. There's Cottage Craft, which is a recycled paper yarn. Uh, there's Woolies Thick and Quick Recycled. There's also, uh, there's a few other ones that are just like right on the tip of my tongue and I cannot think of what they are right now. Um, I did my lolly split wrap in one of them. Oh goodness, it's totally slipping my mind. It'll pop into my head and I'll just blurt it out eventually. Um, anyways, Woolies Recycled is just like the classic Woolies. It's a 80-20 um, blend of acrylic and recycled wool. So it's, it's recycled acrylic and recycled wool. It's a number four weight, which at first glance, I felt like this seemed kind of thin for a number four. I felt like it was closer to a DK. But once I started working with it with this sneak peek that you're getting to see of a project that is coming out at the beginning of November, it's definitely November. I don't know if it's the first or second week of November, but the very beginning of November, you will get this pattern. Um, so sneak peek here. But once I started working with it on this pattern, um, using the recommended hook, which is a six millimeter, which I have right here. So I am making my other panel right now. Um, with the recommended hook, which I've been using this hook so much, I am rubbing off <laughs> my label. Using the recommended hook with this as a category four weight is absolutely perfect. So it does work up true to a category four, even though my first impression, I thought that it felt like a lighter worsted, but no, it's definitely, it's definitely a true worsted. Um, so back to the yarn. These skeins come at uh, three ounces per skein and 196 yards per skein. So there's a good amount of yardage in here. I, off the top of my head, cannot remember how much they are. I want to say they're $5.99 a skein. Um, if that's not right, I will pop in a little text box here and uh, correct that price. But I'm pretty sure they're $5.99 a skein. So this is a really good value yarn. Um, you get a lot of yardage for that price. You could do a lot with this yarn. Um, I did a project last year with the Classic Woolies, which I do have right here. And let me show you that. So if you're not familiar with this pattern, if it doesn't jump out to you, this is my faux cable Ruana that was part of Lion Brand's Christmas promo last year right? Last year? Yeah, it's definitely last year. Um, so this is Classic Woolies, if I remember correctly. This is oatmeal. Pretty sure this is oatmeal. Um, but so this I had steam blocked and I used and um, goodness, where was I going with that? I steam blocked this yarn. I have not yet steam blocked the recycled version of Woolies, but I gotta be honest guys, I might like the Woolies Recycled better than the Classic Woolies. I can't, I can't explain it other than the Recycled Woolies feels nicer. Honestly, it really does. It's, it's softer. The Classic Woolies, although I love it, sometimes I feel like if like, say it's the middle of the winter and my skin is dry classic woolies can um feel a little itchy to me if i'm wearing it directly on my skin 
the recycled woolies. I don't know if it's something that happens with the recycling process that these fibers have been softened up more because again, it is the same blend. It's an 80-20 recycled acrylic recycled wool blend, just like classic woolies is an 80-20, um, but it's softer. I, I, don't, I don't know why. And I think, I feel like, now again, these are different stitches. Um, I, I also think the stitch definition excuse me, I also think the stitch definition on the Woolies Recycled might be nicer than on the classic Woolies. Now, mind you, this um, project, let's get up close to that a little bit so you can see the stitch definition on this and the stitch definition here. Um, this Ruana has been worn, it's been steamed, and it's kind of been through the ringer over this past year because this is a well-loved pattern. Um, it still looks great, but when I completed this pattern versus this one, which I'm not done with yet, but working on it, I, I think this might have better stitch definition. Um, this was a larger hook, but I don't know guys, I might like the recycled woolies better than the classic. Now the recycled woolies does not have nearly as many colors as the classic woolies, mostly because it's new. Um, I really hope that they add new colors in this line because like I said, I'm really enjoying working with this. I'm definitely going to work with it again. This color that I have here is called charcoal. They do have this beautiful olive color and a really pretty, I think it's actually called olive. And then they have another one. It's this really pretty blush. Um, it's kind of similar to this. I want to, it's actually, it might be a little bit darker probably more towards like a terracotta pink, but I want to say it's called blush. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to check that. Um, anyways, the colors that they do have available in this line are stunning. There's just a handful of them, but they're beautiful. It's, you know, no shortage of being able to pick a great color. Um, I'm probably going to, probably going to grab a skein or two of each because I do want to see them all in person. Um, and when I do that, I will show them to you guys, but um, just to wrap this up, I just want to let you guys know that I am done with one panel for this project coming in November, and which so far this has used four skeins, and I am working through my second panel, which will use another four skeins, and so far, this is, this is about a skein and a half, and so far working through a total of six skeins, um, I really like this yarn. I didn't find any weird knots. I didn't find any weird like twist issues or, you know, nothing funky. You know, sometimes you get a yarn and like, it seems like every few yards there's a knot where they tie it in something new or there's just something weird. I did not find this with this yarn. Um, and I've been through six skeins so far. So, um, I, <laughs> the baby in the background. Anyways, I, like I just said, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to make sure that I add a link below to this yarn so you guys can go check it out and see all of the colors. I will make sure that when this pattern is released, I will add a link below for the free pattern, the principal patterns, and of course, the Lion Brand Kit, because that is the best bang for your buck where you get the yarn plus a free copy of the principal PDF when you purchase a kit from Lion Brand. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go make myself some tea, hopefully get the boys distracted for a little while on this beautiful fall day here in Northwest Florida. And I'm going to try to finish up my other panel so I can do some steaming on this and get it all put together. I cannot wait to share this pattern with you guys. You're going to absolutely love it. It's a cabling pattern. I will make sure that I um, do a stitch tutorial for these cables. They are super simple. Uh, as long as you're mindful of your stitch placement, you will not have any trouble creating this pattern. Um, so yeah, make sure you like and subscribe so that this way I can continue to share with you any new yarns that I try out, share with you my free patterns, my video tutorials for stitches that I love using, and of course, any other, you know, randomness that I decide to share with you that has to do with yarn. So make sure you like and subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys and have a wonderful day.